all right guys so welcome back today we continue the story of martha is dead so previously on the last episode we left off at the beginning of a brand new chapter in the middle of the forest or supposed to meet with the white lady and if you guys recall on the last episode as well we somebody else died lapo i think that was his name he died he got fatally shot and um he left us a letter with a secret code that we still do not know what it is for and what secrets it may reveal. Um, but anyways, we'll go here to the objective and we've got a couple of things starting off with number 6934. That's the, the number that he left us. It says from Apple's message, do not be alarmed. Uh, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. Okay. And then here we've got the white lady. We've got four separate things. We've got to do the scissors, which we got uh, the tarot cards. And then here we've got one more thing for the lover, which is take a photo of the graveyard in the woods. And I believe we're relatively close. It's just right here. And that is exactly where we're going to go. So we're going to follow the trail here. And let's see what happens. Thank you guys for those I of you. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. As I was saying, thank you for those of you who've been watching the series. I know it's not like a major AAA title horror game. It's 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 a thriller horror type of thing, and it's an indie game, if you will. And I've I've been enjoying it, to be honest. I really have. But we're gonna use the camera here. I'm gonna plant it right here. I believe we have the tripod as well, which is perfect. So it says subject and frame out of focus. Um. So it's too dark. It's in focus now. We're going to have to, there we go, properly exposed. And then here we've got required add-ons. Let's see, the adjustments. The add-ons are the infrared film, which of course, and then the tripod, which we've got both of them. I like how the game does tell us what we need, so we're not like completely lost. Um, so that's always nice. Let me see. That is creepy. All right, so we're going to shoot it. Everything should be fine. That should be the perfect shot. Okay. Hold on, I'm opening up a can of G Fuel here. All right. Use code hollow. Just saying, shameless plug. All right, so we've got we've got this info now. So I think I have to go back to the red room and develop the photo. It says to take infrared photos. I need a special infrared film, the tripod that I, okay, cool. So we already did that. It's probably not checked off because we still have to develop the photo and check if there's anything unusual, which I'm assuming there probably will be. So things to do from the diary, I would need an object that concern that connects the, or her world to mine. So we have to now go all the way over here. So, wow, that's actually really freaking far. Okay, so I'm going to actually go this way. I do kind of wish sometimes that the game would kind of give us a little bit of a... I know it's more realistic like this, having to have to go back to the map every so often. But I kind of do wish that sometimes the game would just tell me, you know, draw like a little line or something on the road. So I don't, I don't have to go completely what crazy. What is this place? This never used to be here. What the hell? Hello? Oh, God. Another entrance, maybe? Dude, imagine you live here for years and years, and all of a sudden, you, you've walked these, these woods your entire life and then out of nowhere you find some sort of secret bunker all right we're on the right path so once we reach the fork in the road we're gonna make a left and we should come across a bridge i could have brought my bike but i honestly feel like although the bike does go a little bit faster making the turns is just absolutely ridiculous i don't like the mechanics of the bike at all i feel like it could have been a little bit better anyways i'm gonna make a right here that hmm. 
Okay, so we're back here where we took that photo. And then we ripped our sister's face off. <laughs> oh, what, we Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a house over there. Oh, okay. So I need to go. Oh, what the hell? My dress. It could be the element that links my world with that of the lady. It has been here for a few days in a place that is both mine and hers. All right. We're finally here. Let's go. Go ahead and develop this photo. Once we do this, I think we're ready to go, baby. We're ready to go. The yes. yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. The green filter. Useful for landscapes. Okay. Hmm. Hear the planes. In the war. What is this? Is this is this the photo we just took? Oh, that is the photo. Oh my god. What the heck? All right, here we go. Expose the paper. We're going to skip that. Oh, that is trippy, dude. That is so trippy. There's the grave I've been searching for in the spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Yeah, not, not trippy at all. All right, so we've got what we need. Why is this so dark, man? Fuck. Okay, let's take a look. The lover. There it is. So find the correct grave. Wait, you're telling me I have to go back over there? All right, fine. I think we're supposed to head back to that gravesite, or perhaps it might even be a different gravesite. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to follow our tracks. I think we came, came from here. Then we turn there at the curve. I believe I'm going the right way. Yep. And then we're going to take the left, right? The left. Yes. This one right here. Oh, shit. I know you're there, so please just don't kill me. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you a crazy ass bitch. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. <sighs> with this object, she'll have to hear me. I have no doubt. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. You are just nuts. You are nuts. that house over there yeah oh shit <laughs> oh she's crazy listen your sister died so did your lover just let it be give it a rest go back home just just that's it man forget about it
He used to take me fishing in it many years ago. I don't understand why my mother never wanted me to use it. Is it here? This little island. I thought it was talking about the other side. Oh shit. See, I thought we were talking about that way, but no, it's this way. Okay. White lady. Please don't kill me here to talk this is the tree the lover was hung from according to the legend okay I see something there oh yep oh shit Roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really Mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the White Lady. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Yeah, this is borderline psychotic. I'm sorry. This is just not... This this ain't it, Chief. This just ain't it. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. Oh, God. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Bro, what are you doing? You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Oh shit. Alright, I'll choose this one. And this one. Oh, God. <laughs> you do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. 
Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. Hmm, okay, let's see. Got two more after. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Okay, last two. Here we go. Oh, shit. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood. And they may return to keep you company. <gasps> Bitch! Oh, God! Oh, I was not expecting that. Shit. Fuck, that was creepy, man. Not expecting that. Damn it. It reminds me of La Llorona, even though I haven't really seen the movie yet. I'm just too scared to watch it, honestly. I've seen a couple of the conjurings and stuff like that, but uh, La Llorona is one that I've definitely uh, had on my radar for a bit. But why are we swimming here? What is this? Has got to be a nightmare. I've got like unlimited, ooh. A World War II plane. Interesting. Got a couple of fish here. Where are we going? Is that a bed? What is that? Oh, we're, oh, this is the entire place underwater. Let's relax with the noise. Where am I? 
Can I go up? Can I go up? What the fuck? Is that Martha? Martha, is that you, sweetheart? Listen, um, I'm sorry you died. I'm trying to find out who killed you, I promise. Oh, no, that's... Oh, shit. She's upside down hung. Is that even a word? <laughs> oh, she's got a key. I'm sorry. Let me just take the key from your dead hands. Speaking with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. So I want to say this might be the key to our childhood room that we were trying to find out for a while. Or is this for something else? Could this be for this? Martha's little box. It probably is. It was in Martha's hands after all. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I am no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. That's right. She never heard her sister. There is nothing here. Oh my god, what the heck? You kidding me? Hi Julia, I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. Bro, my heart just dropped. Like, my heart just fucking dropped. longer getting undressed in front of you but for how much longer can I hide it 
Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Didn't I call this? I called it. I said, what if she... Oh, my God. Why is everyone always sleeping in this freaking house? Oh, so we're basically playing as Martha now. We got to get one of the dresses. Okay. So that's Martha. Oh, I see. I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who is pregnant, not me. And to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. That's why she, Oh my god. So some of those nightmares, like when we woke up bleeding and shit, that was probably like... It was Martha. In her desk. I left it on her desk in her room. Oh fuck. the need to talk to you and I remembered the recorder in the dark room all right oh gosh I don't like this why is the door automatically open we're in the 1940s there ain't no automatic doors here man over the years unlike you i remember all of the harm she has done to you and it is my fault take my place sister you will live a better life and i will be able to rest in peace knowing that i at least try to put right what i have done wrong i will go now my last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully what the fuck hi julia I was upset, unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day, Martha didn't wake me up. Wow. Wow. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed, and I always overslept. Martha wasn't there, and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Alright, I'm just making sure there's nothing here that I can interact with. Grab our purse and head out. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. Ah, oh, so now it's making it's, it's it's making us realize what really happened. Walking us through the entire moment now. Hmm. I like that they they made us play with Martha, right? They made us play with Martha and then um and with Julia as well. Hopefully they'll, they'll incorporate a little bit more of that here into this story. Okay. Just wanted to make sure sometimes there's things that Julia would say if we go to our parents' room or whatnot. Let's just keep going now. Do 
have the camera in my bag or I gotta open this door up. Got the keys here. Perfect. Okay. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. Oh shit. So do I have to go Oh. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Oh, this is getting nutty right now, man. The graveyard. This is getting interesting. We got a gun. What the fuck? Julia, are you crazy? Twenty first of July. Lapo is dead. They shot me in the back when I discovered his body. I thought I had hit rock bottom. These are soulless, empty days. After so many awful events, I finally managed to meet the white lady. Or so I believe. The line between reality and dreams is becoming less and less clear to me. I thought a lot about her words, but they didn't shed any light on my assumptions. They kept ringing in my mind. Maybe I will understand when the time comes. Now I know for certain that it was Mummy who killed Martha, when she thought that she was me. Only a week ago, all of this would have seemed impossible. I just need to find the proof, so she can pay for what she has done. That is a high, high, high fucking dark secret. Almost five German divisions face the troops of the 8th Army. Units of an Indian division cross the river Pesa on a vast front. And they advance two kilometers south of Monte Lungo. Meanwhile, the New Zealand units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romola. Near La Romola. The when it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. K was staying was bombed by the artillery. Luckily, the general and his family were not in the house at the time of the attack. 400 ISO again, film. Romola, it comes into its own shooting clouds and indoors. A farm was stormed and animals were stolen and killed. Nobody has claimed responsibility for yet another act of senseless vandalism. But at the scene, an anti-German propaganda flyer was found. This is the civilization that our comrades are proposing. Okay, let's see. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vicenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. I think we saw that already earlier. Okay, so right now we have here the film and the dress. Okay, the newspaper, we're going to read the newspaper, but we're also going to go to the developer room, the, the, the dark room, and develop that film. Telegram. I'll leave it in the letterbox. Have a good day. Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? You've got mail. Alright, hold on. Let's read the newspaper. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli in the eastern sector of the battlefront. The troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Hmm. Bombings. Damage caused by the bombings between Florence and Siena continues to increase. After the disaster at Poggibonsi, rubble and power cuts are the order of the day. 
Let's see if they say the name. Hello. Attack on Hitler. Huh? After an attack carried out by a group of traitors, Hitler's words are, In having escaped, I see a sign of the duty incumbent on me to continue my work. Interesting. The New Zealanders conquer travel. Okay, we already read that. Sabotage of the phone lines in La Romola. Telephone cables have been cut, causing danger to general safety. Any damage to the information service facilities is punishable by death. All right, did we take that off the newspaper? Yes. All right, so we're going to go now. The postman left a telegram in the letterbox. I should take a look at it. Let, let's, let's go to the letterbox first. Dear Mrs. Irene K, following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Or maybe even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Yo, that's creepy, dude. That's fucking creepy. Here's my thing. Don't they know who is Martha and who is not by basically forensics? I mean, fuck, when they were born, I'm sure they have maybe during this time. Oh. Go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Martha is in the family crypt. That place is scary. I don't remember, but Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. Well, that's just great. Crazy massive frame drops here, too. Ooh, the cemetery. Shit. Oh, God. The crypt is here. Not now. No? Okay. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. a crow right there lapo oh i should water the plants no one will do it the caretaker clearly doesn't care oh wow let me get some water here watering uh can is required in order to water the plants well, no shit. What am I going to water it with? Saliva? <laughs> Duh. Here we go. The watering can is empty. Of course. Okay. I gotta fill it, and to fill it up is right there. I still don't know where Martha's grave is. Um, I'm sure it's probably one of the more significant ones. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I fill it up. Perfect. Now that I have filled the watering can, I can water the plants. All right, Lapo, I'm going to water your plan, even though you cheated on me with my sister. You can't say you don't know it was her, because you're the only one that knew how to tell us apart, so you did cheat on me. 
with my sister, you slut of a man. How dare you? Lapo, if you were in front of me, what would I say to you? That I'm angry because you were sleeping with Martha? No, I'm not angry. I'm sorry that you kept everything hidden from me. It stings a little, perhaps, but faced with your loss, everything is now meaningless. I'm happy that they buried you here. We'll be neighbours. I knew that Daddy would allow it even if you were fighting with the partisans. Wow. For him, this war is a stranger as it is for me. Goodbye, Lapo. We will meet again soon. It's time to look for Martha. What's up with these crazy frame drops, man? Sheesh. Alright, so Martha. Where is Martha? Okay, the crow's over there now. Is that a crow? Yes. What is this? A grave without a name. A life without memory. I pray for you, whoever you are. Man or woman, young oh. or old, does it make any difference? Wow, that's true, huh? Okay, let's see, where's the crow at now? Maybe it'll take me to Martha's grave. I've got no idea where it's at. Now we can probably go in here, maybe? Ooh. Among all those keys, one of them must be for the family crypt. <gasps> this door is locked, but I must get in. Maybe mm. I can find something around here to break the lock. The bolt cutters. Let's let's not forget how the the only thing that I've come here for, <laughs> still haven't been able to find it. I've watered the plants. I'm gonna. Cut the lock to a door. These and are perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. This might be something I have to do. So let's just cut the fucking door down. Really? I'm just gonna throw everything there. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cozy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore. But you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Whoa. Italia. Oh, shit. Everyone takes a side. I find myself siding with my family, but I'm not sure whether it is right. Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. Firstly, mm -hmm. place your index finger in the hole displaying the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it stops. Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps <laughs> for the numbers five, seven, three. Ooh, this is another camera skin. Yes. All right, so. Wait, weren't we here for the keys? There we go. Damn, I would have totally missed that because of the light there. All right, so we've got a key here, the crypt. Break the lock. Okay, enter the family crypt. All right, so she's got to be in there then. And the family crypt is where? So we're not going to see the caretaker here at all. As we know, he's gone. Here 
Here we go. Oh shit. Ooh. This is what she was talking about. But I ain't scared. Police. I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. Fucking hell. Sheesh. Oh, God. Wow, bro. What the fuck? Do you have to? May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. What are you? What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna have to blur this part out a little bit, perhaps. Oh, it's not showing too much at the moment. Just, this is this is just too much. This is disturbing. What the fuck is this lady doing? I'm I'm blurring this out. I'm sorry. I'm just... No man, what the fuck is this? No, bro, no, this is too much, man. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. No. I see why this got censored. This is ridiculous. You are. This is too much. Nah, this is not right. This is not right. This is not right. Is going if you guys were to see I am what the fuck is going on oh. I just pulled out a baby are you kidding me Martha was pregnant. Pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. They always said that it ran in the family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? Go ahead and take a picture of this. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you, and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. So her child was. Oh my God, dude, this is getting really dark. Doctor, oh. I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Don Atilio seems to not understand the situation. Irena, please consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone. Especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree. 
but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erik, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. I mean, honestly, I do kind of feel like Julia does have psychological problems to some sort of extent. So I, I can understand her mother's point of view. She's but... sleeping. I must take advantage of this. <laughs> I will make her talk. She will reveal Why is the truth out sleeping? of fear. She thinks I can be silenced by calling me crazy. But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Everyone will know what you have done to your own daughter. I would make too much noise and wake I would make too much noise and wake her up. Okay, so what do I have to do now? The strange note. Develop the photo of the fetus. Um Okay, so what? What am I supposed to do? Bro, what? What do we do here? Do I have to play the recording or? <gasps> now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. <laughs> Dear God, what have I done? She forced me. She killed Martha. But who in the world will believe me now? They will take me to the mental asylum. Those rolls of film are my only hope. We're fucking crazy. See, at one point I was on her side, but now I don't I don't think I'm on my own side anymore, to be honest. I mean, let's see, let's see if we discover anything. We've got the key. So that's who had the keys to my childhood bedroom. I could have guessed. Oh my god, this is nuts! My God, sooner or later, more bombs will land here. Then everything will come to an end. Hold on, I gotta develop these photos. Damn, the power is out. It's oh, impossible to develop that roll of film now. Oh, well, now we're, we're fucked. At least now I finally have the keys to my old room. But why was it locked in the first place? All right, what's up? Can you pull up? Pull up the lighter, please. Jesus Christ. I 
Remember what the white lady said, man. Oh, shit. Finally, I can enter my room. There's gonna be some dark secrets in here, man. It's like being a child all over again. I used to play with the puppets by reenacting what was happening in my life. To clear my mind. I want to do it again. At the beginning of any puppet act, there was always the legend of the White Lady. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. Okay. My love is not here yet. I'll <laughs> wait. What a beautiful moon tonight. What the hell? <laughs> Move the puppet with the theater to unlock a new action. You're here at last. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you acting weird? The lover. Okay, you cheated on me. I know you kissed another. I know you kissed another. Oh God, I would never do that. I love you. I would never do that. I love you. I love you too much. Shit. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. <laughs> what did I do to you? Uh, you killed her. I'm pretty sure. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's that. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman whenever events take her back to that sad day. I'm gonna wash my vegetables? Oh, those are clothes. Never mind. I thought that was like a cabbage up there. Goes to the lake to wash your clothes. Are you crazy? Especially with an the crazy urban legend like that. Would that be considered an urban legend? I, I don't know. Ooh, here comes the white lady. <laughs> what the fuck? Now I can begin. First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before the cursed 16th of July. Martha. Julia. Okay, so they say the war will be over soon. Of course, because she can't speak. Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do?
They will take everything from us. Um, we will go to Germany. Will we become poor? Will we go to Germany? I'm afraid we will. Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Do you see Lapo? Did you see Lapo yesterday? Did you see Lapo yesterday? What do you ask? Oh shit. I saw him leave the barn. I saw him leave the barn. Weren't you there? Oh god. No! You slut! Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Oh, what if she did kill her because of jealousy and she's psychotic? I want to bathe. I want to take some photos. I want to take some photos. Hmm. What if mommy finds out? Let's go at dawn. Let's go at dawn. Mummy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine. Will you actually wake up at dawn? Dude, we're, we're fucking crazy. Julia is nuts. Wake me up. She is absolutely nuts. She, uh, shall we swap beds like we used to when we were kids? Sure, great idea. We'll go to sleep. <sighs> uh, so that's Martha's side, and Julia's on the right side. Go to sleep. Perfect. That's crazy, bro. <clears throat> yes, it happened like this. Then in the morning, Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy. She knew Mother was going to follow her down. Now I can only guess what happened when they met at the lake. Bro. Pick your knife. Speak. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Let me start off normal. Hi, Julia. What do you want from me? Yeah, but I thought she couldn't speak. Is that sign language? You got your clothes. How dare you talk to me like that? Um. How dare you talk to me like that? <laughs> Leave me alone. You're just a poor old woman. I'm sorry, mommy. I didn't mean to be so rude. I'm sorry, mommy. I didn't mean to be rude. No, Martha couldn't have possibly tried to be nice to her. You don't think so? Okay, so we got it wrong. All right. Um, fine. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, so let's go a little bit more aggressive here. Take off your clothes. I want to see your shame. Oh, shit. Undress. Pregnant, your sister was right. Ah. So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. 
Okay, well, at least I had fun. <laughs> well, at least I had fun. What a slut. I'll punish you for this, whore. <laughs> Try, I dare you. Try, I dare you. Take the cane. And I beat her with the cane. Oh my god. Dung. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? This might be exactly what happened. Hmm. I'll continue. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. And after everything, I shot my mother. No, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. What is going on? A little arm. Okay. A small leg. Okay. And another little arm. Another small leg. The head too? Jesus. Oh look, only the head is left. Did she cut her up into pieces? she taking the body oh my god you fucking animal wow oh my god I was under the bridge, but but it was just a game. This, however, is not a game. I was just playing. It's just a bad joke. Under the bridge. The fuck is the this? Church. Bro? Town. Speak. The white lady. The head. Yo. This is not a game. Get rid of the head. Ooh, what the fuck? Yo, this bitch is crazy, dude. Nah, she's crazy. It's crazy. I do not. Nope. I can't side with you, Julie. I'm sorry. You are absolutely fucking nuts. You do belong in an asylum. You are insane. So she literally 
got rid of her mother, then chopped her up and buried her under the bridge. Ay, ay, ay. This is getting dark. The power is back. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. Watch, your mother didn't lose shit and it was probably all her. I'm not even going to be surprised at this point at that. Let's go in here and see what the heck really happened. Maybe she did. You know, I'm kind of hoping that she did. That way we can kind of justify what we just did. Even though that's not very justifiable. That's fucking crazy. What is this here? Have we read this before? Lorenzini Haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. We have. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? I think we already did that. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. All right, so what do we have? We have this photo. Oh man, here we go. All right, first one is this. Um, hold up. This is the first one. Oh God, I'm so sorry. And then we're gonna go gonna focus. Adjust the focus. Perfect. Yo, did she really do it then? Yo, I hear something outside. Dear God, so it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. <gasps> I fired instinctively at that soldier, hitting him right in the head, but it was not a good idea. He obviously didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself that the soldier on the ground was still alive. They hit me in the ribs, the back, and the stomach. I couldn't breathe and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. On the seat next to me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. What the I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. That's they forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. 
but those punches. I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, All it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. Wow. He pointed to one of the soldiers and then he pointed to me. My time had come. They all left except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die, but not like that. Terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. I had the gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. He quickly cut the ropes and pushed me to the ground, saying out loud, It's done. The German whore has been dealt with. I was left motionless on the ground. He left, and I fainted again. This game is so fucking dark. What the hell? Dude, this game is dark. When I came around, I did not know what to do. I was completely empty and felt pain everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. She will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up, and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check, but you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up! Don't speak. Don't say anything else. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theater in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Fuck, everything the white lady told us is kind of happening, you know? Puppet theater. Oh my god, dude. This girl's fucking crazy. Oh man.
Okay, here we go again. Mummy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. Mm. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try, though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. Oh, shit. A nanny. Oh, you see, bro, the nanny's... Bro. The nanny, I'm telling you. How are you, madam? I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I think the nanny has a darker story than what we so far know. I can feel it. The time has come. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Rene, push. Give birth. <laughs> oh, shit. Is born. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Where's the other one? Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since hmm. I was born. I'm hungry, mommy. I have to pee, mommy. I'm sleeping. I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry. No, it's not meal time, you little nuisance. Okay. Mommy, I'm sleepy. Paints. No, you can't sleep now. Okay, let me let me go ahead and paint. See what she paints. Gonna paint anything or <laughs> Oh, that's the painting. No, you can't sleep now. Oh shit, that's a painting from her room. Mummy, I'm thirsty. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna finish the painting. It's the same painting that they had downstairs on the first floor of the room. This is Martha. We're, this this little puppet is Martha. Remember that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the painting. Wow. 
Fuck, that's creepy, man. You're going to annoy me. You just drank. All right, let me go ahead and pet the dog. <laughs> All right, mommy, I have to pee. <laughs> mommy, I have to pee. That's enough. Go to your room. Take the balloon. <sighs> Get out of my sight. I can stand you no longer. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Ah! Fuck. How dare you? I will make you pay for that. Take a cane. Oh my god. My hands are not enough. You need to learn properly this time. Wow. Sorry. Dum. Dum. <laughs> what the fuck? This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? Oh man. picture uh, spill picture over Julia's head drink from the picture oof I'm gonna drink from it and could it be possibly that one was favored over the other So you could have got Martha Glass, you little know-it-all. Uh, you're only good for judging others, aren't you? You're only good for judging others, aren't you? Uh, but what did I do? I didn't do it. But, but what? I didn't do it. It's like one of them was always mistreated. Actually, both of them. Martha's all banged up, too. So now we're going to beat Julia. <laughs> so you learn to answer. Oh, my God. Crazy ass bitch. I silently speak. Can we cuddle, please? I love you, mommy. Ugh, I'm bored. Can we cuddle, please? Is that is that directed to Julia or to her mom, Julia? Yes, I like that game. No, I don't want to stop by. Yes. Yes, I like that game. All right, well, according to what we know, they were close to each other. So I would assume that they would hug one another in time of fucking cruelty. Like, damn. Okay, now let's go see what the... the throw pitcher on the ground. Cry. Take the pitcher. Speak. Can we play a pad again? I love you, mommy. I'll take the pitcher. No, I don't want to spill it over Martha's. Oh my God. No, what? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we're going to get our ass beat. We're going to get so beat. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Okay, hold on. I'm Martha's fault. I'm angry with you. Let's see. I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. Come 
Come with me now. That's so sad, man. Are people that have families and mistreat them like that? Like from looking from the outside in, that shit looks horrible. Sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. I will put you in your place, girl. God. Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Try to break free. Stay still. Is she gonna burn her? The boiling water? Is she gonna slap her? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Help! Maybe Martha comes. <laughs> oh, the doggy. <laughs> He's gonna kill the dog. Oh fuck! Grab the, take the dog. Oh gosh. Now I'll make you want to bark. Leave my dog alone! Oh, she's gonna dump the dog on the water, dude. <gasps> There's no point screaming, stupid girl. No, mummy, please. That's disgusting, dude. The fuck, crazy ass bitch! You're insane. Sure. Now I'll show you how insane I am. Help, Daddy! Help! What the fuck? Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Yo. Oh my god. Eat it. Better than fucking dog? No. Clap Julia. Oh, I won't eat him. Bro, I'm so fucked up. Who wrote this game, man? You guys are I sick in the said head. Eat. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. She ate the dog. I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible, and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Don Atilio, my priest, I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. All right, here we go. German command. Wait, so who is Donatilio? Six nine three eight. Oh, he's right there. I was looking for priests. I don't know why. speaking who is it father help me they're all dead daddy mummy everyone julia come to me immediately don't stay alone it's dangerous come to town you can stay here with me and we can talk about everything okay okay father but first i want to play with my puppets for a while julia don't be silly Come to church right away. All right, let me try that number that this guy, 6934. Let me see if that does anything. 6934. 6, 9, 3, 4. 
Not now. Nope. Alright, so are we going to go back to play with our puppets? Take the bike, go to uh, San Cassiano. Where is that exactly? Where's San Cassiano? Fucking hell, dude. Alright, we're going to take the bike. I'm assuming maybe it'll just take us there. Sounds like it's a really far place. Or not. Okay, let's see where it's at. Look on the map. Alright, so we're going to go straight and then make a right. Okay. happen if we would have killed ourselves like when the soldier came in instead of shoot, uh, deciding to shoot at the, sh at the soldier we would have chose the other way around but the game have ended or what warning the following chapter contains a scene displaying cell harm some players may find the scene disturbing would you like uh, to view the censored version Those boys, they had all been killed and it was my fault. They were my age and a few of them were our friends. It wasn't meant to go like that. They found out, but daddy protected me, of course. Whoever had anything to do with the partisans was shot without hesitation. Suspicion alone was enough. I betrayed my father, but what was I supposed to do? Should I have betrayed Lapo instead? He was my friend and I loved him, but I also loved my father. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing, but instead it was the worst thing I could have done. I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers, Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone for any reason. Okay, so where the hell do we go? Oh, I'm here. This game has been ridiculously fucking gruesome and Once I crossed that threshold, I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. I chose no censored, so... things went. I just remember a big light and then photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white, a doctor I presume. He was asking me questions but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Some women were talking to themselves, others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long. 
incessantly to the point where she would bleed. So they would tie her down to the bed screaming, cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. They started to give me injections. What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called cardiazole or something like that. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. I should have just shot myself. Yeah, I should have just shot myself when I got to that spot. Instead of the soldier. Maybe this shit would have all ended already. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm probably gonna censor what's to come. I just didn't know it was gonna be this. I don't know. This is this is a bit much, to be honest. Okay, so we're showing puppets. answers don't go away talk to me about martha please this is nuts dude martha julia there's no longer any difference i am both martha and julia whichever you want it's us so it's true and mother is she alive? Mummy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I mm -hmm. do, unfortunately. It's useless to try and deceive ourselves. Did I do what I think I've done? Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. God. All that blood. My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers, did that really happen? Mm. It happened. Yes. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. I cannot relive it either. Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? Hmm. She died too, right? Poor Nanny. She really had nothing to do with it. But or did she, she died in our villa due to the bombings. We saved ourselves for some time by taking refuge at her house. Privileges for being rich. Feelings don't count for much, though. My poor nanny. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. They all died, bro. <laughs> all of them. Sheesh. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend. Poor boy. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? Hmm. Martha was pregnant. Her deformed baby died with her. Maybe she was in pain. That's enough now. All of these questions are 
pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. Ready for everything with open arms, even ready to kill. Legs always ready to run. Conceived in sin. Hmm. Wow. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this. is the puppet master now. On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn the page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the most devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused, and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here. For listening to me. Now I'm ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? Something great 
going to be just around the corner. That is very, very true. And, and, and to a certain extent, the game is trying to bring awareness to people that are suffering from, you know, suicide and all that. And all that stuff. Um, and that message right there is very, very true. There's always something around the corner, whether you believe it or not. So I think that's the end of the game. I'm going to be honest. I, I really enjoyed like the revelations that were happening, the uncoverings of the story. Um, but I do feel like this game was just a bit too, a bit too, a bit too dark in a sense. I mean, the story was, it was interesting to, again, to see everything unfold. Um, I think there's multiple endings. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. I think I read it somewhere, but I could be wrong. Um, based on your choices, as we know, there are choices that you can choose, but 79% completed. Okay. Almost got an 80. That's, that's fine. But yeah, there it is. We ended up surviving. I would like to know what happens if we would have not shot the soldier as opposed to, or we would have shot ourselves as opposed to shooting the, so, uh, uh, shooting the soldier. I wonder if the game would have ended there or something else. Maybe it would have been a good ending if there is multiple endings. But let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions. I wanted to finish the game today just to kind of get through it and see what really happens and what the conclusion of it all was. And I'm really, really interested to see what you guys think. The game is super dark, man. It's It really is. But anyways, I thank you for watching and joining me on this crazy, dark, and gritty adventure, I guess you can say. And if you enjoyed it, drop it a like. And as always, I'll catch you later.